Hey, in this episode, I am going to introduce you to Dr. Sherry Walton. In this episode, we are going to be meeting Dr. Sherry Walton of Walton Publishing. Dr. Sherry is actually the one who helped me write my book. She's an entrepreneur, a book publisher, and she actually even mentors entrepreneurs on how to write their own book in less than 90 days and make hundreds of thousands of dollars in the process. She's an amazing entrepreneur, and I cannot wait for you to hear how you can write your own book and sell lots of copies with the help of Dr. Sherry Walton. Let's go. Noel. Yeah, she can fix that. If you gotta get it done, no, you need to do it better. Well, she can fix that. Yeah, she can fix that. Investment to get back, trying to get a big stack. She can fix that. Let's fix that. Okay, Dr. Sherry Walton, I am just so excited that you have given us the pleasure and the honor of coming on to tell everybody how awesome you are and your company is and what we can do with books. So we're going to get right into it. Start off and tell people how you helped me and how you, know, how you helped me with this book, how everything that you did, what your company does. Just explain to people because I don't think most people know how powerful you and your company really are. So tell everyone. Well, thank you. And first of all, can I quickly say thank you for opening up this opportunity and this platform? You know, I love when moms come together and we just, we ignite each other. So I thank you so much. Well, like you said, I help people um, publish their books and you and I connected and I knew that there was definitely a message. Not only did you have for your YouTube audience, but you also had a book that needed to be published. And once you and I connected, it literally, it was just like magic, right? It was. Um, took your words, things that you had already said and just put them in a form that was easy to read so that more people can be able to connect with you and your brand. Um, so what I do is I have a publishing company I teach people how to write their books. So I have a few different stages that we work with. We're book writing coaches, as well as publishing companies to help people spread their brand globally. Yes, yes. And you have definitely helped me spread my brand globally. So tell everybody actually how we met, because I met you, you were speaking on stage. So talk to people about you, because you actually are incredible. And then we will get into a little bit more about how you helped me launch this best-selling book. So you and I met, I believe it was over two years ago. Can yes, it was. It's crazy. <laughs> it, it definitely was over two years ago. That's the crazy part. Over, over it doesn't seem like ago, it. And, and I think we immediately connected. I, I did speak on stage. It was at a, a tour that we were doing in Dallas, Texas. And afterwards, you came up to me and you and I just started talking about purpose and being in alignment with purpose. And what's so funny is you were in a transition at that time. So to look at the type of success you've achieved in like no time at all because I think you had probably 5,000 YouTube followers. And probably that, zero and then. <laughs> now you're like peaking close to 300,000. So ma'am, you are on fire, right? So, so you and I came together and you know, we, we met, we hit it off and then we kind of just put the relationship on the shelf for about a year or so. Yes. Um, when I reached out to you, I saw that you had a book. Um, Actually, I was at, okay, so I, you met me and then I attended one of your real estate um, conferences and it was there that you passed out your book and grow your wealth and I was like this is some really good stuff so as I was reading it I was thinking you know what I can do so much to enhance this you know how sometimes you just want right you're like I can make this better <laughs> don't be shy tell the truth you looked at my book and thought I could do better <laughs> Noel you can do better <laughs> Well, listen, I, I, and even at the time, you weren't as big as you are now, but I saw so much potential in the words that you were saying that I just felt, you know what, let's put it together a better product so that more people can read it. And that's what we did. I came to you and I said, Ms. Noel, um, have you considered enhancing your book just a bit, <laughs> you know, to get some better <laughs> reviews on uh, Amazon is where it was listed at the time. But now it's global, right? But it was on Amazon at the time. And so that's what I did. You know, we, you and I talked. You said, makes sense to you. You're a business woman. So if it adds up, you're like, makes sense. Correct, correct. <laughs> like, make my life easier. <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> Yes. And this is where Dr. Sherry Walton is amazing, because like I said, our true story, we met, I met her sitting in the audience, sitting on stage, and then she attended one of my events. And then about maybe a year later, we were going to do a book, but I just had too much on my plate with YouTube and the podcast, just all of these other things that I was like, I just cannot do a book. And now here's the thing. 
I was wrong. First of all, let me look into the camera and tell everybody I was dead wrong. You made the process so simple and easy. And I just thought writing a book was this big undertaking that would require so much time and quiet. You know, I thought I was gonna be like Barack Obama. I gotta go to a whole nother country by myself to write a book. So talk to people about how you convinced me, stubborn me, that this was the right move and how easy it was to, to actually get this done because I, I had no clue. Well, my sweet spot is working with busy professionals who don't have time. So I sold you on the fact that it didn't require much time for you at all. And as you can attest, it really didn't require much time for you. My job as, as a book writing coach and a publisher is to make it easy. And you, if you already have content or even just helping you pull the content out of you in less than 90 days. Again, it's, you know, when you're walking in your gift and your purpose, sometimes you can't even explain how you do what you do. You just know that you do it well. So that's literally what we did within 90 days. I said, okay, ma'am, I, I can have a book ready for you and published. And I know that you are a woman that takes integrity very seriously. So of course I wanted to make sure not only did I provide a product that was amazing, but a product that was very easy for you. So that's what we did. I mean, honestly, just coming together, I like to work with influencers or business professionals because there's always so much content out there that you already have, right? I don't believe in reinventing the wheel. I don't believe in coming up on the rough side of the mountain. I'm saying, what do you ha already have that we can work with? And that's, that's how we put it together for you as well. Yeah, no, you are phenomenal. Like I said, phenomenal person. So take a second and tell, like I said, one of the reasons I immediately was just attracted to you, like we were just like attract like, and I knew we would eventually work together. It took longer than it needed to. My own, you know, hesitations thinking I needed to have all this time in order to work with you. Again, completely wrong. But tell people who you are, because you actually have an amazing story. Like I said before, you're one of the people I feel like that inspired me to stand on a stage. You know, I was kind of doing it on a very small level, but when I saw your bold, lovely smile and all of this power, I was like, okay, this is people. This, I, I, this is this is amazing. She's amazing. So tell people who you are and, and about your living fearlessly and boss mom and just you because you're incredible too. Well, thank you. You remember that fearless. I think I wore an I am fearless shirt the first I time. I did. I was like, because I was at the time I was needing to get over my fears. It was funny. You you were really speaking to the me, like someone that worked a job, wanted to be an entrepreneur, but was too chicken to actually quit a job. And I see you bold with your live fearless and talking about we got to get over these fears. And I was like, preach, <laughs> preach, sister, help me. <laughs> Well, my sweet spot is that I'm a purpose coach. And what I do is I help people unlock those things that are on the inside of them. And then I use that to translate that into books to help grow their brand. So it's all a system working together. Um, so my story is I started on the entrepreneur journey almost 18 years ago. And I, I'm probably aging myself. Um, 18 years ago, I started- We about the same age, girl. We young, don't worry. <laughs> as this fearless young girl that could not be stopped. And then I came into some really challenges in entrepreneurship that knocked me flat on my face. And my, hu my husband and I were together and, and we didn't have any children when we first started. But after we had children, I think it kind of shook things up a bit because I have to admit I wasn't the motherly type. I wasn't the domestic type. And here I was, I had these kids three years into my marriage, you're raising your hand too. <laughs> three years into my marriage, I mean, I'm sorry, five years into my marriage, we started to have kids. And that shifted everything for me. But as it started to shift, I believe like I wasn't financially savvy. I didn't have a mentor. The things, all of the excess, right, that should have been filled in, I did not have. And during that time, we ended up losing our first business. I was a celebrity event planner in Miami, Florida, in the hustle and bustle. We ended up losing the first business. And when I say not flat on my face, after that, we experienced a period of homelessness. And, and here I was saying, okay, this is not my life. <laughs> All right. I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. You don't lose. We, we talk a lot about mentality. During this time, as I was going through these trials, I kept telling myself, I don't lose. I don't lose. Now, everything around me 
was looking like I was losing. But the fight on the inside of me kept saying, no, I'm fearless. No, I'm better than this. No, I can bounce back from this. And that's exactly what I did. So my platform was literally built out of pain. We talk about birthing purpose out of pain. That's how my platform was built. And then I started connecting with other women that started to connect with my story. When they met me, I had come out of homelessness. I had started another business. And now we were made successfully at making six figures in our business at the time. And it was a great feeling. I wanted everybody to have it. So when they, people talk about my energy, it's because I want to wake people up. I want them to know that no matter what you have been through, that is not the end of your story. There is so much more to you. And that's what I stood on that stage and said to you. While you were in that audience and we connected, I literally told my story, which is something that I encourage people to do in a book. I told my story and then used that story to connect with my tribe and people that needed to be connected to my message. Whoa, this is an amazing point that me and Dr. Sherry share a very similar story. Dr. Sherry shared with you that she was homeless and I was in my parents' basement. This lets you know that you do not have to be successful or come for money or have people help you out. You literally can be in one of the worst situations and turn that around to millionaire. Dr. Sherry and I both understand that it takes time to build the business that you are looking to build. And you are going to face some obstacles, some challenges, and you are going to have to overcome some hardships. But it is okay. It is in these moments that you will find your strength. Additionally, most successful entrepreneurs have been down. It's okay. Don't feel embarrassed. You will turn this mess into your message. It was because Dr. Sherry Walton and her husband were homeless that she was able to find what it is that her passion was, what she wanted to do. And she didn't give up on her businesses or get caught up in the fact that her first business has failed. It's totally okay. Additionally, I have had businesses that failed and I have been in my parents' basement with bad credit, multiple foreclosures, and even a bankruptcy. But today, my life is filled with me owning my own time, millions of dollars, and having a very successful company. So the true message in all of this is, it's okay. You may fall down, you may be in your parents' basements or at the worst situation, but no, it is okay, you can turn this around, just stay focused on your goal, and you can do it. It's nowhere near as hard as you think it is. Let's get back to this interview. Oh my gosh, yes. You, when I tell you, I, I'm, I'm looking in the camera, Sherry Walton, Dr. Sherry Walton is an amazing speaker, and that energy, you're right, I just connected to that. And even taking it a, a step further, because you said something so, so, so incredible there. The mom thing. You know, I'm sitting in the audience, and that was one of the reasons that really held me back. You know, you got two kids. I got five, really seven, okay? I really got seven kids with my, 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 my two stepdaughters. And I just had this notion of what a mom was and what we had to do, and, and, and we shouldn't be out on YouTube and on Instagram, and we can't tell people we're a millionaire. I had these crazy bad ideas. I don't know where I got them from, but you let me see, when you were speaking on that stage, you were like being fearless in who you were as a mom. I was like, yes. So, so say that part again about being a mom and being an entrepreneur, because that's so much about, of your, about your message that really drew me to you and your books and, and, and what I talk about in my book that I didn't even talk about in the Grow Your Wealth book. I never even brought that stuff up and you pulled that out of me. So, so, so talk to that part because people need to hear this. You know, I, I love to talk to moms or even people just having to start over. The reason that I use that so much within my story is because like you just said, there are so many women that believe they have to choose. They feel that either they can have the family or they can have the successful career. And at the time when I launched and I started, and I had kids and I was really trying to find a mentor or someone that can make this all make sense, I kept finding single women that were successful in business. And I kept saying, but you don't have my story. You don't have you don't kids got my that struggle. Get at 345. <laughs> you want be picking your kids up late from daycare. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Pulling up at six o'clock so that you don't get a, a late fee. Thank you. <laughs> you don't Your have kids a standing story. outside with the lady. Is she ready to go? <laughs> <laughs> 
or, or having to do laundry all weekend. Like literally, all when weekend. I started all of this, I didn't have help. I, oh I, my we, god, my husband, <laughs> my we gonna get to that in a second because it's about receiving help, and that was another thing I'm telling you that me and you now that we are millionaires and successful, I could I didn't even know how to receive help. I didn't think I could have a nanny or someone could wash my clothes because I did it the best. And I did not do it the best. (laughs) I did not do it the best, but I thought I did it the best. Can we say freedom, freedom, freedom? That's, you know, and I think it's because of how we were raised. You know, I felt guilty about it for a while because my mom was a domestic engineer. and She's a beautiful woman, a strong woman, a powerful woman, but she gave up her career for her family. And I somehow felt like, wow, do I have to do that as well? Because she was such a great example. But then I was miserable when I tried to do that because I tried all these different things. Me too. I tried quitting and staying home with a baby and I was bored. I was bored. I woke my baby up. I would wake my baby like, okay, we need something to do. I, I got too much going on. I done cleaned everything and you sleeping. I was bored. And I'm not saying anything because I know it's hard for people, you know, to be home with a kid. But again, I think more than anything, what you prove to me and what we're trying to say as moms is you get to be the type of mom that you want. There are no rules. If you love staying home with your baby and that's what you want to do, I love you. And I think that is awesome. And if you also want to start a business, that's great. That's awesome. And be a mom. If you want to have your own business and be a mom, all of these things are available to you. There's no mom thing. That's right. And that's why it's so important to know your purpose. And that's, you know, it takes it back to the beginning of that, because if if that is where you're supposed to be for that season of your life, because I also believe in life, we go through seasons. So there was a season that I was home. Then there was a season that as I started to build my business, this is where so many women get into trouble because they're comparing their lives to my, your life when we're in a different season. Right. So when my kids were very young, I had to make a decision as to how many hours I put into my business. As my kids became older, as I as I started to get help, then I was able to adjust that. Ultimately, I tell moms, women, you decide what works for you and stop watching what everyone else is doing. You need to understand what works for you in your life. I, I'm married for 18 years. My husband doesn't need a home cooked meal every night. He needs to eat. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't need to be in the one kitchen in the kitchen cooking it all the time. But that was something that we had to balance in our family. So that's why you as a mom understand what's important for you. you. Of course, your kids are always important. So find a way to be able to serve what you need for your kids and also be able to live the life of your dreams. My kids go on the road with me. That's why I started my Mommy and Me Dream Bigger Tour because I could not find an event where moms and kids were together. So I created an event to teach moms and kids about entrepreneurship, serving my needs and serving their needs. So there are creative ways as women, as moms, that we can figure it out. You have figured it out, I'm telling you. So keep going because you have another thing. So continue with this because tell people where you are right now physically and what you're doing and then we'll get back to the book stuff because again, you can be a mom, you can be a family person, you can be an entrepreneur and you can live an amazing life. So Sherry, where are you? I'm in Barbados. I know you were going to get to that because when I told you that, you got so excited. I lost my mind. I was like, yes, yes. I was so excited. Now I was jealous. A little. <laughs> you know, I, I love don't you. know if you can see the view behind me, but that's yes, my I view from my balcony. Um, you know, we 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 came to Barbados in October. Um, we have we have since uh, come here, and we're like, okay, this. We don't know if it's a permanent situation, but it's definitely a right now. We're making beautiful business connections. I'm able to write and help clients. You and I worked your book mostly while I was here. The whole right? time. Again, I think the entire time, I don't think you, I think you were in the States for like a week and then you were like, I'm gone. I'm in Barbados, but don't worry. You're, it's going to get done. I was like, uh, okay, as long as they got internet. (laughs) Absolutely. You you know, I, I, I believe that a lot of times we put our life on hold and that's the biggest problem that we have, especially as women, because we're so used to sacrificing all that we are. And then by the end of the the day, we're tired, we're exhausted, and we have no more to give. But if we just shift our mindset 
to understand that we really can live the life that we want and we still can enjoy the best of the world, enjoy the best of life and still be there every evening for your kids if that's what you decide. Like, I, I guess, I don't know how many ways we can say it or, or how many different times I can reiterate it. I want people to understand you have to start living the life that you see in your dreams right now. It's never going to be a, a right time. Everything is never going to align. You literally have to step out in faith and do in your heart what you know you've been called to do. You know, I'm a woman of faith, so I, everything I do, I lead in prayer. Everything, I'm just literally making sure that in my spirit, I feel aligned. And this, this is an amazing place that I'm in right now. And I, I would a year ago, I would have never thought I would move out of the country, but there are so many limiting beliefs to what we feel that we can do now. And, and, and I love that once you um, conquer one feat in life, you know, you can do the second, you know, you can do the third. And I think with each level of my fearlessness, I realized, okay, the last thing worked. So this one can work too. There are no limitations. Whoa, okay, this is a point that I absolutely love and you must realize. As a successful entrepreneur, you can work from almost anywhere. As you can hear from Dr. Sherry Walton, she is in Barbados. She's literally in the Caribbean doing what she wants to do and making money in the process. Being an entrepreneur is freedom. Not just time freedom, but freedom of location. In most cases, you can work your business from almost anywhere in the world. Not only can you be anywhere in the world, so can your clients. Dr. Sherry is in the Barbados working and she has clients all over the world that she's able to connect with. This is the new way to do business and this will allow you all the freedom of time, money, and your life. This is what you want, and I need you to know that as an entrepreneur, you can be in the Barbados or wherever it is that you want to be. All right, back to this interview. So this is absolutely incredible, Dr. Sherry Walton. I am so proud to even say that and that you are in the Barbados on a Caribbean island by the beach in a beautiful place working your business. So tell people about how you made the decision to be an entrepreneur abroad and how freeing that has been for you and your family and everything else. Well, what was funny is my family and I, we didn't even realize that we were going to be here as long as we are. We came here for a three week vacation. Wait, okay, <laughs> wait, stop, stop. Are you serious? <laughs> this wasn't planned. <laughs> and this is what, what I love about entrepreneurship. You can always shift at any point. Once you have everything in order, you can shift. That's true. And once you have a business, you can work your business anywhere yes oh my gosh okay so you were doing good just for a visit and then what happened <laughs> we came here for a visit and at, while we were here we started making amazing business connections and you know you and i are a lot alike we start adding up the numbers and what makes sense and it made sense for us to be here a lot longer to create some of these opportunities that became available. And so we said, we talked to the kids and we said, how do you all feel about staying in Barbados for a bit? They were like, we love it here. We love the beaches, we love the environment. So it was an easy shift. Um, so we found a home and literally, I guess they say the rest is history. Um, but you know, I entrepreneurship has allowed me that flexibility. If I work for someone else, you know, there is no way I can tell them I'm going on vacation and not come back <laughs> and, and still get paid. Like that's not happening, right? But because I positioned my business years ago to be mobile, I started on Zoom before Zoom was popping in everyone's home. I started creating those relationships because remember now, I've always been a global entrepreneur. So clients in Guangzhou, China and Dubai, I've always created those relationships outside of the U.S. So I think that it's really even made it easier for me as I made that transition into an, a, a, abroad, you know? So it wasn't something foreign for me to be able to meet with my clients um, virtually and still be able to get the work done. So talk to us about the book. So you basically run Walton Publishing Companies from anywhere in the world. It's a global business. Tell us about the business and about this awesome giveaway that you have. Yes, yes, yes. So Walton Publishing House is my baby where I help people publish their books in 90 days. And again, as I mentioned earlier, that's either through 
um, coaching them to write their book or just going straight to the publishing process. So no matter where you are in the process, we can help you. You know, I get a lot of authors that are sometimes they're just stuck, right? They're in the middle of writing or they started writing years ago. We help them crank that back up, get it done, publish it, and then we help them to present it on a global platform. So the freebie that I have today is called Write It. Right, I want you to tap into your power and write your best-selling book in 90 days. And the reason that I'm pushing people to write their book is because we all have some type of message. There is something that is a part of us that is needed in the world, that is a part of that legacy that we leave in the earth realm. So I am looking to help people write their books, get published, and then use that to build their brands. Absolutely, and it's been amazing. So let, let me tell you some of the success and let me share with you, cause I don't even think you know all of it. Obviously you see the book sales and we've sold, you know, we, before the book even came out, I think we sold 2,500 copies, okay? And just the amount of business, not just the books and the sales, the money is actually really good, especially with the way that you got, you set it up, you know, where it's not like the publisher's taking all the money, but just the amount of clients. First of all, the book is amazing. People absolutely love it. It's the best book I've ever written with your help. You know what I mean? And then two, people are getting so much value out of it and sharing it and doing other things in my business. So it has been a game changer for my business and it was very easy and not very expensive. So I really want you guys to check out her free ebook. It, it, it shows you, breaks down her exact process and how to do it. So what are they getting in this ebook? Because I absolutely love it. I have a link below for everyone. This is amazing. Everyone should get this free ebook because it is packed with information, but tell everybody what they're getting out of this ebook, write it. So I take them from the idea of the book, generating the ideas and narrowing down what they should write their book about. And then I take them through the process of creating the flow of the book that's necessary so that they can create the book easily in 90 days. I give them book mapping tips. I show them some of my tricks that I use with my clients to help get the book done. And then I give them a breakdown so that they can follow along within 90 days, how far along they should be in their book all all the way to the end of the book. So I, my hope, the reason I wrote that book or the small ebook is so that they can be able to take their writing process from the beginning all the way to the end with the tips that are included in that book. I love it. I love it. And I love the ebook. And like I said, I don't even think it took us 90 days to write my whole book. I think um, we were like less than 60, honestly. <laughs> crazy, crazy. And then had it selling before as soon as it was like done, like pre-orders, you know, like bam. And then like, then the book is out, bam. Then it's like bestseller. So you really have a- That's system. right. Can you stop and say that again? You were Amazon <laughs> bestseller? <laughs> Amazon bestseller, thanks to you. Um, and great reviews on it. No one's like giving me all these bad reviews um, cause it's poorly written. Like you did an amazing job. The audio book with us available on audible. Just, I'm just so thankful to you, your system, your process. You definitely have this book thing figured out and so much other things. So it's been amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you were easy to work with, honestly. And I, and what I like about you is that you understand about adding additional strains. You know, no matter where you are, you can create another opportunity with the book. Sometimes people say, well, I don't need to write a book. Look at you, you already had over 200,000 subscribers and you still said, you know what, why not? Yeah. And now the additional doors that have opened because of that, right? Right, <laughs> so, right. So this and is you why really give your customers, your subscribers, your followers, something that they can, you know, it's inexpensive for them to get that information and actually implement. I have so many reviews where people are like, this is enough information in this book for me to do things. And, and, and I love that. The book is powerful and it's informational. It's not just fluff. That's right. That's yeah. right. I love it. You were amazing to work with. I'm you excited too. about the success you, you've had. With you the too. Book. So we have more books coming out because I absolutely love working with you, Dr. Sherry Walton. And I am so excited about other clients working with you and all the books that you have, the success. You're the Oprah Winfrey of books. I absolutely love you. So there you have it. And I'm sure you can feel Sherry's amazing energy. We actually have an offer where I'm giving away my new book that I have poured my heart into that Sherry Walton and Walton Publishing has helped me develop. And we are giving my book, Real Estate Millionaire Secrets. We are giving that book away 
absolutely free. And I have a special offer for you. You can get my book absolutely free at noellesfreebook.com. That's Noel, N-O-E-L-L-E -L -L -E with an S, noellesfreebook.com. And I have a special offer for you. I am going to give you in a package Sherry Walton's Write It Book, How to Write a Book in Less Than 90 Days, for free in a package with my book. When you go to noellesfreebook.com, you get not only my book, you will get Sherry's ebook absolutely free, and you will get that book immediately. Check that out at noellesfreebook.com. I just want to make sure that you have all of the resources, all of the tools, and all of the knowledge that you need to be successful. This is Noelle, to your success.